All right, so I was considering initially making the ramp gate out of this one, this one by tubing, only because I have a ton of it, a lot of it. Because I was gonna originally make the gate for the scrap tire trailer out of it and I never did. But I'm sitting here looking at this ramp gate and it's just so basic. I mean, it's four of these in a square and then a few of these backing it up and then you put the expanded metal underneath and then on top and then you weld on some hinges which is another issue none of the metal places were open today so i went to lowe's and i bought a pipe and a rod to make these hinges out of and i don't know we'll see how it goes but look at this thing it's just so basic this would take me you know just an hour or two to cut it up weld it together and build it what do you think? All right, so the question was, did I have a long enough angle iron to make the width of the gate? And I do, as you can see here. This is a really wide trailer, way out over the axles. I think I measured it out to 98 or something. Inside to inside is 96. So, do I build the gate inside to inside? I don't know. I need to go look at the other one. Okay, so no, you don't. You give yourself like an inch of clearance. I see. Well, I like that because it'll make it stronger because just those two pieces of angle sitting on the rail are warping, just sitting there. So, makes me a little concerned. So, it looks like I don't need to make it outside to outside, just like that. So, this gate has already some weird funky thing that they put together where a piece of plywood went in here and then this went through the plywood but there's never been a gate so as long as I have an area for the piece of metal go in right here and then have the pin come through so this is going to get cut off I'll leave this stuff here but this pin I'll cut this pin out of here maybe I'll use that for a hinge all right so there is the width of the ramp gate I it's 93 inches and a quarter wide inside to inside. And I went ahead and went 92 to give me a little over a half inch on both sides. So see, that's a wide gate. Oh, who's that? Let's go see. So anyway, yeah, that's the width. I realized that the gate only needs to be strong where the wheels of the razor are gonna wide. So the strength is gonna come from this. And if I put the hinges where the wheels are gonna go, um that'll all ride on the trailer so just trying to think this thing through so the next question i got to answer is i want this gate as short as i can make it i want it as short as i can get it i don't like these huge you know air parachutes back here so i know the razor can get up this thing with only like a two or three foot ramp we did it at the dealer and then i used the oh i can go measure the ramps we used half of last year Let's go take a look. All right, oh, they're buried back there, but I put my wheels on wheels. We used half of those ramps when loading the razor last year. I just need to measure half of that. All right, so we're at five feet on those and that's kind of what I thought I was gonna end up at. I don't know if that's enough to give the quads clearance going over you know, where the gate meets the edge of the trailer. I don't know, but I guess I can experiment with that right now. I know for sure the razor goes up here on this thing because we did it. And I'm pretty sure the quads can come up without hitting the bottom here. And this is actually gonna be about four inches lower right here, which is gonna lessen the angle make this angle sweeter for the quads. So the question is, if five feet works, I wonder if, if four feet would work. So here we got, this is five, right? So let's see, let's roll it back to four. Let's see what that looks like. So I know, I know the razor could do that, but I think the quads would bottom out right here. So we're gonna stick to 60 inches on the gate. I only have 90 minutes of light left. I'm just gonna start whacking all the metal up and probably tomorrow when I get back home, uh, we'll weld it up, figure out the hinges, get the thing done.
What do you think? What do you think? You never get any air time. You never get any air time. Come here. What's wrong with you? Are you mad at me because you were in doggy jail while we were down for Thanksgiving? Okay, so it just so happened that all of these pieces here all the way down are roughly 60 inches. Somehow it worked out. I saved all those pieces when I was building the junk tire trailer. So I have eight of them. Uh, it's easy to split seven into equal. You put one in the middle, two in the middle of that, evenly spaced apart. When you have eight, it kind of confuses things. With only seven, these end up right about where the razor tire would ride up at about 59, 60 inches center to center on the wheel. If I put in eight, it messes that up. So I think I'm gonna leave seven and then I'm gonna test it and just see how strong it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double up two of these like this, right where the razor tires ride. I'm gonna box this in. And I'm gonna make my own one and a half inch tubing. I had two of them back at my steel pile, but they were 48 inches long, the one and a half by one and a half. So I'm gonna make two, I'm gonna make one here I'm gonna make one right here where the razor tires will be right on top of them. It'll double their strength. And that's really the only thing that I'm concerned about is the razor. The quads can go up the rest of this, no problem. So to me, the vertical stays look a little thin. You know, I could use a few more in there, but I think this is gonna work. And if you know me by now, I'm kind of a dice roller. We're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna weld this thing up tomorrow, see how it goes. All right, so I'm just cleaning up here and I got it all cut and laid out and I realized that I don't have a piece of expanded metal that is uh, 92 by 60. Of course, we all know they come in the same measurements as a sheet of plywood, 48 by 96. So I got the width covered, but I don't have the height covered. So I figured what I'm gonna do, and this kind of goes along with my minimalistic plan anyway. I'm gonna cut a couple cross members and I'm going to do 48 inches here, and then there will be a gap here. So all these challenges. All right, we'll continue on tomorrow. I know it's November, but it's hot out here. So it's 92 to 90, it's 92 all the way inside edge, inside edge. And I went just a hair, like an eighth of an inch drive, 92. Came out right. So now let's see if it fits. Let me just say a little something about my dog over there too. I, I whine a lot about him and complain, but I knew he'd be a handful for the first year and a half, two years. I knew he'd eat everything, dig out, jump fences, do all that stuff. And he has, he's ate all the pigtails off my trailer wires. He's ate them off the cars. I keep rewiring them and covering them up. Anything that smells like me, I think he just eats. But um, he's mellowing out a lot, as you can see. Here he comes right now. But did you see how I'm over here grinding, making all kinds of noise? He don't care. Just walks right up. That's why I like these Anatolians. They're super, super confident and brave. I've had shepherds. I've had labs. I've had, you know, lap dogs. Seems like every other dog you have is afraid of noises, afraid when you drop stuff. You know, he don't care. That's why I got him, because he's super confident. And... Um, just people away from my gate.
you know, the reality is I could have made this a 48 inch gate and put some legs on the other side so it lifts it up like six inches off the ground. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come all the way up with the mesh so I have three sides welded to steel. And then I'm gonna have that open spot there not supported but I'm gonna figure out a way to do that. So let's drag it into place and see what it looks like. Getting towards the end of the day, sun's going down and uh, it's getting really cold and I need to go. Remember, I still have a family that likes to spend time with me. So this last few hours on a Sunday, before we go to bed and get ready for work and school tomorrow, I'm gonna call it for today. So bummed, I wanted to get this done, but um, just gonna have to wait. Maybe I can get some time off midweek. So I'm just going to throw all this on the trailer and then back it in on the side of the house over there and wait for next week. It's coming together. Um, if you didn't know, and I never covered this before, this I believe was a 14 foot trailer and you can see right here, there's a weld there and there's a weld here. About 48 inches to me looks like somebody extended this which is another reason why I like having those jacks touch the ground. So it takes all the load off that modification. Now that puts the axles way more forward than they really should be. That should, should be, that axle is probably in the perfect spot. If this one were to come back here, then I think the load would be distributed evenly. But I did load the razor and the rear tire landed about here. So all that weight was in front of the axle and it towed great with a 500 pound quad on the back. This trip we're gonna put two quads and a couple hundred pound ramp gate. So I'm just gonna to have to see, maybe I back the razor in, putting the engine on the tongue, put the quads in, and then in, in with the addition of the gate, that'll balance out the weight. Anyway, that'll do it for today and uh, we'll see where we pick up after a couple days at work. What do you hear out there? Do you like hanging out with me today? Welding, grinding, cutting, hammering. I bag on you a little bit in my videos. I knew you were gonna be a handful as a puppy. I know your nature. Anatolian Shepherd's very confident, very intelligent. I've had all kinds of dogs. A lot of those breeds, you drop a toothpick and they jump and hit their head on the roof. They freak out and run and hide under a table. This guy, you see me grinding, welding, doing everything, dropping that huge metal on the deck. He doesn't even budge. And that's why we got you, because we knew you'd grow into a good watchdog. Just like you were laying out front here with me all day guarding that fence. Oh, you heard something. You want to say goodbye to the people? You want to say goodbye to the people? <laughs> okay, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So you want to say goodbye to the people? This is dangerous. If this thing comes off, but I'm just leaving the whole thing on there. Okay, look, see how it clears? 
So I have to get this up at least level with the middle. We don't lift customers' cars with that thing. 